I see that um, we are at a tipping point in our propensity to innovate because we are becoming an increasingly more connected society. The big opportunity for us is the rural broadband connectivity that we are putting through in the next 18 to 24 months. This opens up the possibility of creating a comprehensive application in the form of a Gram Swaraj portal, which could combine several services of vital needs of citizens in areas like education, health, rural employment, skilling of grassroots level workers like ashas, health workers, teachers, ability for citizen monitoring of grassroots level functionaries, providing citizens the power to evaluate government programs, uh, keep accounts, all could combine under this Gram Swaraj portal, which would work through this rural broadband uh, expansion program. Uh, this, I think, should be focused upon by our council as a major area of focus. I would also uh, endorse the idea that we see the fund, in, the innovation fund in two streams. One that looks at um, inclusive innovation through ideas fielded by the public at large as a kind of a Bharat Nirman innovation fund or something like that. Uh, and as complementary to that, the nation flagging four or five major national challenges on which uh, it seeks innovative solutions from it, the, the best creative minds in the country. So both these, would, both these streams would really make us put in place a very, very unique uh, fund to spur innovation. Another major area is the entire ecosystem of education that we could relook at uh, through the National Innovation Council. Uh, India has, by and large, now completed the challenge of universal access to elementary education. And we have also now made it the right. But what we now to do is to focus on quality and especially on education to be nurturing creativity, leading to innovation. I see the opportunity to work with diets, which are the district, which are there in each district. These being made uh, some kind of a cradle for innovation at the district level and effectively used to completely revamp our educational or early educational phase to a much more creative one. The third major area is the area of the possibility of disruptive innovations in public policy, where institutional redesign can get us a lot of innovation without much investment. Quite often, you are only leveraging the sovereign power of the state by redefinitions, reimagining, and restructuring of existing institutional arrangements in a manner that they spur innovation. 